Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today, I'm gonna show you my fragrance rotation of the week that revolved around fragrance from Guerlain. So, seven day, seven fragrance, and the first fragrance was L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum by Guerlain, a really amazing fragrance. The whole line is really good. L'Homme Ideal is a nice, mass appealing fragrance, but it's really, really more unique than most mass appealing fragrance with a nice note of almond. That's what linked the whole line together, that nice note of almond. Second fragrance, it's Patchouli Ardent, and Patchouli Ardent is also a really mass appealing fragrance, at least in my experience. Actually, it's not a mass appealing fragrance, but it's a really loved fragrance. I always have people that say I smell good when I wear it. It's really powerful, so I'm wearing more this fragrance when it's cold, but there's patchouli, of course, and some fig, and that makes it a really nice, unique fragrance. The quality is really high from the whole like fragrance I'm gonna review today, I would say that's probably the most powerful and the one that seems to be the highest quality. Day 3, Abbey Rouge Eau de Parfum, a really nice lemon fragrance. It smells a little bit like a lemon pie. In the heart there's sandalwood and in the base there's benzoin. It's a beautiful fragrance. It also is the first oriental fragrance for men. A lot of nice thing about it. Yeah, I, I did a whole review about all these fragrances, so you can check it out. But there's a lot, a lot of nice thing to tell about this one specifically, so you should check the review. Number four, Coconut Fizz. And Coconut Fizz from the Aqua Allegoria line. I, I see that there's a lot of reflect from the projector. But Coconut Fizz is a really nice coconut fragrance. Smell, I would say, a bit like coconut water in a way. And it's really nice, really beautiful. The whole line usually it's more when well, fragrance more for women, but this one's really unisex, beautiful fragrance for summer and hotter, hotter time fragrance. Number five, it's L'Homme Ideal Cologne. And uh, this is another really nice fragrance from L'Homme Ideal line. I would say it smells a little bit like, you know, those little popsicle that tastes orange and there's ice cream inside of it. Well, it smells like those popsicle taste like. This is how I would describe it. Also, there's a lot of grapefruit in the opening and in the dry down it will, will make me think of uh, some kind of uh, almond uh, milk, but not like really real almond milk, but um, like a milk with some kind of almond, sweet almond syrup on it, something like that. That's pretty much what make me think of. Number six, uh, Eau de Cologne et du Coq, which is a fragrance that was made by Aimé Guerlain, first perfumer of Guerlain. It was made in 1894. Of course, it's not like the, the original from that date, but it's that fragrance. And it's really nice Eau de Cologne type of fragrance. And it's really nice to see a fragrance made by the founder of Guerlain. And also what I like about this fragrance is that it's a fragrance that was remade by every person that was a perfumer from Guerlain. All with different name, all with a different take on it, but they all made that specific fragrance in their twist. I know there's one that's Eau de Cologne Imperial that exists, which is basically a twist on that Eau de Cologne type of fragrance. And so they only have this specific fragrance from the line. I'd like to have them all to just see like the difference on how they make that perfume, all the different perfumer. But I think it's a really nice thing that they have. There's no other fragrance house that I know that did something like that, either with an Eau de Cologne or any other DNA. So I think it's really interesting. And finally, day seven, it's Vetiva Extreme, a really great vetiver fragrance. And I like to wear it in summer, spring and summer. It's a really beautiful fragrance. It's a little twist on the original fragrance. I think it's discontinued. Actually, this one and this one, they, they're both discontinued, I'm pretty sure. Well, this one I know, this one I think. But it's a really nice scent. The twist it has is that there's a nice note of licorice into it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, like and share. If you have any fragrance by Guerlain you've been wearing this week, just put it in comment. Also, if there's any of these fragrances that you really love, you can write it in the comment too. So, thanks for watching and see you soon.